Short learning duration is much expertise. Qualifying the training to become used to our own boss. A person can start as a baker and ends up owning a bakery, for instance, our sponsor, Jeff Hobby. A person can start by learning makeup and ends up owning his own or her beauty shop, for example, Naomi's Lips. I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, it is at this juncture that we come to the end of our presentation, that is group two, and we are hoping that this um, project be looked into by uh, the various um, angles that we've been mentioned of, the government and a host of others, of many others. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Thank you, group two. Group three, next. Group three, yes, begin. you can start the presentation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Group three, challenges. We are going to talk about the challenges faced by youth and some of their solutions. Feasible project in which you can venture within Cameroon. Cameroonians face a lot of challenges, some of which are unemployment, energy care, educational facilities, sexual harassment, such as rape, Corruption, bribery and corruption, tribalism, drug abuse, ignorance, and lack of information. Sex barrier. To solve some of these problems, such as unemployment, who can engage themselves in self employment? They should not always rely on the government. Parents should also help their children by involving them in family activity back at home. 
order to create educational fa facilities, government should encourage. They should all have women involving themselves in the fight against prostitution at childbirth. Festival projects which youth can venture within Cameroon are agricultural projects such as farming, poetry, history, entertainment projects such as music, movie entertainment, dancing. Youth should involve themselves in projects such as in projects such as information technology, e-commerce projects. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Group 3. Next group. Group four, yes, yes, you can start your presentation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Biggie. Good morning, respected uh, housemates. Good morning, uh, audiences. Uh, on behalf of the group four, I want to host my presentation, my presentation, which is emphasized on challenges faced by youths alongside the solutions and also projects to, to accomplish it. So, one major factor that's hindering youth development in Cameroon is the drug abuse. Youth nowadays, they, there's this consciousness that youth nowadays, they, they, they use more, they, they, they're consuming more drugs, which leads to brain damage, and also it leads to, to uh, brain minutes. This can also be resolved, and this can be saluted by the, import, the high importance which should be levied, levied upon tariffs and quotas. Also, this, there should be a limited supply of drugs, which is going to limit the uh, distribution of supply of drugs so that youth should no more have access to the drugs. Also, we talk about laziness. Laziness is another hindering factor because you know, they crave for easy money. Easy money in such a way that they don't want to work. They want uh, low, they want low run return on 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 on, on capital. You know, nowadays they just want to sit and don't work and expect to have a return on something. So there's also so not, so there's a high com uh, solution to this. The high communication should be passed. The high communication should be passed on job descriptions, job employment, such as because such as uh, the Nchipobe company, which offers counter clerks security opportunities for youth to go and have employment which is going to generate income for their upkeeping. 
Also, we'll talk about how beverage is a major problem with facing with uh, our youth face nowadays, which comes with high uh, is, uh, early pregnancy. This can be sensitized through birth control and planning. Also, children and also through, through uh, menstrual cycles, like a reference of education. Bureaucracy is another major factor. Since youth nowadays don't like to go through many document signings, they feel reluctant to sign in so, so many documents because they are ignorant of what is what it comprises. So they feel so low and they don't pray for. Projects, projects to this, we have projects such as the agricultural development. The agricultural development is a very, is a major project such as creation of agricultural centers, such as the agricole in Mamena, which provides subsidies to farmers, which is another major factor. And also, we have the, uh, also the development to farm to market goods because this is a very major characteristic that improves the farm development in Cameroon. The entertainment film industry, the project should be more directed to the identification of problems, which is which we are going to take as the problem the, or as a project. As a project, this identification comes like we, we, we are going to analyze it on object object planning planning, implementation. When we talk about implementation, we're also going to talk about the analyzing. After analyzing, we're going to put in on action. After the action, we're putting on control, which we analyze all and we send it to a decree which they can pass in order to, uh, an example to this is a new decree that was passed on our industry, on the artist industries in Cameroon, which was on February to many Cameroon artists. This can be resolved, and this can be, can say, this can be solved through a repetitioning of this project. Seminars, educational seminars should be organized during youth on how to identify projects and also possible solutions. We we'll talk about these seminars because this is a linkage to ignorance. Youth nowadays are so ignorant of what a seminar can, can propound to their lives. So this seminar should be passed through another press communication so as to also. Uh, educate more youths to come and join the seminar in order to have an aggregate uh, brain constructiveness. We also, more so, this seminar should be organized in order to sensitize and the less privileged because we have less privileges such as the uh, uh, youths who are in orphanage who don't have families. So these seminars can also be organized to help people with extended uh, finance finances to help these less privileges. So on behalf of the Team four, we present to you the challenges faced by youth in Cameroon alongside the possible solutions and the projects to it. Thank you. Thank you, group four. Next group. Group five, yes, yes. Yes. start the presentation. Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. This is group five. My name is MC Dibenja, I am the group leader. And we are here to present to you problems faced by Cameroonian youth and possible solutions to these problems. In addition to the possible solutions, we are going to be introducing to you two main projects that youth can engage in to have a better life in the country. So I would, these are my group members. And each one of them happen to have face is facing presently one of these problems. I start with this one. Hi, I am Elias Swan, the Cameroonian youth facing unemployment. 
Hi, I'm King Elwin. I'm a Cameroonian suffering drug abuse. Hi, I am Nyanda Kelly. I'm a Cameroonian youth facing the lack of quality education. Hi, I'm Epimakure Collins. I suffer from peer pressure, low self-esteem, and also depression. Hi, I'm Akira Nerusa, suffering from enlightenment, a Cameroonian youth. And hi guys, like I told you from the beginning, my name is MC Dibenja. Like a Cameroonian youth who has gone through, has gone through school, but doesn't have money to start his own business, despite all the creative ideas I have. So ladies and gentlemen, you heard from my fellow group members, talking about employment, unemployment, youth in Cameroon these days, despite all through the school they go to, turn out to face unemployment. And one of the problems, the reason why unemployment is being faced by youth is because of the quality of education. You see that most of the problems that our youth in Cameroon face today are linked in one way or the other. If you don't get quality education, you can't get good jobs, because when you get out of school, our Cameroonian educational system is based on theoretical more than practical. So for the government to solve this problem, they need to create more of uh, vocational training colleges, they need to create um, training centers that will help aid Cameroonian youth who leave school to be ready for the job market. If not the job market, but be able to create jobs for themselves. That's talking about being self-employed. And I'm talking about drug abuse. What our country is today, like 85% of Cameroonian youth abuse drugs. Is that accept it or it, or it deny it? Now, how do the drugs get into the country? Some of these drugs happen to be painkillers, like for example, Tramadol. You can't stop the importation of Tramadol because it acts as a painkiller. But now, the government needs to regulate the, 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 the flow of drugs such as Tramadol in the society to help to reduce the way you consume it. Now, one of the ways you can do is, for you to be able to, get, to acquire such drugs, you need to have a medical prescription from a medical doctor before you can get these drugs. Now, talking about lack of finance, those youth, some of us youth who have managed in one way or the other to be creative, to have creative ideas, to come up with businesses. But you know, you can't, you can't do businesses. You can't do a business without having the adequate finance to go through this. The government needs to create financial means for young Cameroonians who are leaving schools and who are being creative to get, uh, to get uh, uh, jobs. And also, they have to create friendly environment for companies who are established in Cameroon. So, such as a regulating tax, because if a company pays high tax, there will be some possibility. Is, is it possible for this company to spend money on sponsoring projects on youth? So the government needs to do that and create uh, measures, create financial measures, financial plans for young graduates leaving the university. And talking about uh, entitlement is one of the points that we, uh, one of our youth is facing. Now, in Cameroon or Africa in la at large, there is this idea of entitlement, be it from a rich family or from a poor family. Uh, my father is rich, I don't see the reason why I should go to school. My father is rich, I don't see the reason why I should have a business. That's one of the very big problems Africa is facing. Every poor people to face the same problem. Because I come from a village where I have a friend who happened, who laughs at all who go to school. Because he feels like his father didn't go to school, he had five wives, had a, a, a small co farm, and they were living so happy. And he feels like his entitlement when his father is not, he has to continue that lineage. So it's also a problem. So we are going to, I'm going to suggest to you guys some two projects that can help Cameroonian youth in the future. One basically is agriculture. Today everybody is talking about agriculture. I'm a product of agriculture. I grew up from an agricultural home. My father is a cocoa farmer, and that's where I grew up from. In the, in, uh, in the early 2000s, China could not be compared in one of the world's most wealthy economies. But today it is, thanks to agriculture. The, world, Chinese, the China's richest man is an agriculturalist. He made his body from rice farming. So creating a very nice and amazing and, 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 and industrious agricultural product, agricultural project is going to help a Cameroonian out there with high, uh, high, high, high dreams of, of getting a better life. And our business. In our country, foreigners get to over, uh, occupy the greatest portion of our market and everything. We Cameroonian youth are ashamed to go to the market, maybe to sell to own stores in the market. It's not a bad thing to own a store in the market. So Cameroonian youth need to engage more into business, get stores, get creative, get to that, and agriculture. Thank you very much. That'll be all for now. That's our presentation. Thank you, group five. You can move to the dining.
Hello, housemates. The results of the presentation will be released after the special guests. The special guest is around. You have 10 minutes to receive him. You prepare yourselves. You can move on to your rooms to prepare to receive your guests. Nobody call my no point on the Botibam. No point. But it's not, it's not no, I never insult you, Mama. No point on the Botibam. I just tell you, no point on the No car, I wash your car. You can't even move. 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 Mama, I already cry. I don't think what that's cry. There's nothing you can do about it. I already tell you, my mind. Like I'm going to die, you go die. Ah. 
Gas, 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 <laughs> Don't worry, you can do it. Yeah. So you just say you go do it. Yes, I want to know now. No, there's not money is not about anything. Everything. Who pull you so who tell you to Money is not about everything. When they say money is not about everything, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean I have to buy a car. It doesn't mean I have to buy anything. It doesn't mean it is a woman. it's the first priority to give a woman. In a relationship, because the first thing okay. you think you my way to get money, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of offer. Okay. Uh, money's not like I'm working on a project. I'm working on a project. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm, I'm not the song. I'm not somebody really? who has a big stand. So let me ask me that kind of question. I'm a real asking... woman will come and work with you. No. And moreover, I want to tell you there, something. There, 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 there are a lot of like... girls. There are a lot of girls who wish to. Like settle with, with the man who is hard working and to grow with the man. Uh -huh, that's what I'm I have them like. so many, I have so many out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, 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 it's like I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I'm ready, I think money, money doesn't speak for me though. If I want to speak for money, then I, that actually, I'm maybe not, I can I use money to maybe get. I, I can use money to flex, but I will not use money hey, to get to the woman that I want to oh, for the rest son, of my life. Words. You understand me? I use wrong words. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Now, understand so me. that you should prepare your mind before going to a relationship. Me. Women nowadays. So now today I start day. Now today I start day. Mm. Yeah, now today I start day. Now question I ask you. Really? I started dating from three. Chineke? Yes. Wow. I started.
please check the two cameras, the camera angles. Like when a family in London, I just put something in the bun. Something in the bun. No, they walk inside our bathroom. In the bun. They walk inside technician then. Can't. Anyone? Anyone? Me look down. Say bye. I don't need it. Yeah. 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 How you know me? Yo, hey, you can. Small pepper, no guys. Small pepper, no guys. Small pepper, small pepper. Small pepper, small pepper. Small pepper. Where my present? Do you think I have to be confused? Yeah, I do. I don't know if I can do it. 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 Yes. I don't know if I can do it. 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 Yes. Then I say, we can't do it. You don't take time, you don't know. Go and tell me just take your hand. See, see, see. You can't see that. You can't see that. Why are you looking so good? Thumbs up to encourage you to say I do love. Every time I see that, I always do.
You blind old man. You understand? Why would blind old man? 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 Why Je suis mort. Je suis mort. Je suis mort. Je 
l'école comme ça. Ah, c'est un jumel. Je vais On est indépendé. Oh, oh, on va, on va nous donner le banquet avant de parler. Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Donc euh, on peut vous dire, vous pouvez 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 vous dire, vous je suis très hongrie. 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 Parce que je sais bien que son cas est pas Non, ton, ton cas est un peu exceptionnel. On sait que son cas c'est la bombe. La bombe est. La bombe est Ça m'a bombé quoi? Ça m'a bombé le zeste. C'est quoi? <rire> Ça a bombé le quoi? Ok, allons à l'autre base. Est-ce que tu peux nous expérimenter pour comment tu me relations en français? C'est quoi? Pas gagner mon frère. C'est pas bon. On a donc beaucoup de plans. Bigi, la brune ma plan. Bigi. On a passé. On a cassé le plan. 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 Mais c'est lui. C'est lui. C'est lui. Il n'est pas le Congo. C'est lui. C'est lui qui fait ça. Je Je vais partir, non. Je vais aller ça. Je vais partir, mais que... Dans son chambre, je vais aller ça. Je vais mettre le sang. Mais lui, mais lui, il ne connaît pas... Mais si la dimension... Si la si la dimension n'est pas le même, c'est le même. C'est le même. C'est le même. Donc, euh, lui, lui, c'est le même. Elle est, on va rester à l'heure de Ok, donc tu veux, on nous dit que tu veux que ça va être le système Tchakap. Donc, euh. Le Jacques corrigé, non Ouais, c'est le système Tchakap, non Tu vas aller Jacques, il va venir. Il va venir. Dieu nous a voulu ce qu'il sait. C'est marrant. Non, dans ça. Ça veut dire que tu vas aller chop ça dans le. Dans le système, dans le. Ah. Tu dis chibata, dans le. Ça veut dire que tu vas aller chop le richeau. Et tu dis que. Tu vas aller chop le yamo. Si, 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 mais respect. Ça fait tout le monde, ça fait tout le monde. Ça veut dire quoi Ça veut dire tout le monde. Je suis pas de bonbon. Je suis pas de tout le monde. Je suis pas de tout le monde. Mais tout le monde, il joue. Mais je fais que je respect. Tout le monde, il joue. Bon. Avec combien de qui Maman, tu vas me Tout le monde, ça, c'est son passage. Est-ce que tu sais les jeans tu meurs 
Housemate, your guest is ready. Housemaid, you can't keep your guest waiting. He's in the kitchen. I think 
Give me some food in the kitchen. You guys. Oh, share. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. How do you do it? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, that's how. Okay.
Okay, please, can we pray? Some people don't have to pray. Okay.
point you have the restaurant the, the hotel is in the Restaurant, if you look at the menu, the, the food is say uh, 12,000 francs. I'm paying 12,000 francs for, for a bit of food. I expect that food to be top notch. Who is, who is in charge of that? Chef. So I have to put him on board. But whatever problem you're facing back home, with your wife, your girlfriend, your children, or whatever, once you get there, just hand them outside. Hang them outside. Put on a smiling face, work as a team, and when you go, you can pick it up. Go in. Just like any other profession, you know, because your morale has a lot to play on what you're going to say. <coughs> if your morale is down, it's going to show on the foot. From the presentation to the feasts, you know, to the different methods of cooking. Try and say, okay, I want my 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 bistec, uh, bleu or senior or to that. Yeah, I go and do it. maybe uh, overcooked. Uh, just imagine. Maybe you're thinking something else, and you leave it for maybe 20 minutes or two, three minutes. So for like seconds and 30 seconds, that's one minute. No police. Now hold back. Yeah. I cannot believe you get right now to start the restaurant. Okay, so I need to back home with the outside people should know more about me. Like that's why I want to start this food service and everything the delivery stuff. So people actually know what you offer. So maybe if I, if I serve food tomorrow in your in your, at your home, so tomorrow you'll be okay. Uh the Nepsons kitchen is opening its restaurant and I send you an invite. Not, I recommend you to your friend because you've been eating my meal. You know, you know what I can actually produce. 
see. So I'll just want to go into something where I'll just want to give you the clientele of the matter before getting into the first So I believe of the government, there are certain things we must put in place before before establishing the shop. Like any other business. Okay, going over what's happened to finish the most of the people who came and stops like that. Here yeah, in the Cameroonian conference, there's always this stigma uh, of men being sheriffs. So have you been through this? Have you gotten any derogatory like, statements? statements pertaining to the fact that you're a man and you're a sheriff in this uh, country? And how do you handle situations like this? And why don't we have uh, food critics and editors or auditors in Cameroon because there are several work restaurants that sell poor food? That is really hard to get out of most Cameroonians. And it's something that needs to be worked on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, before I answer the question, I'd like to give you a rundown of the I'd like to tell you about myself. So, uh, like I told you guys, uh, my name is Eva Isaac. I'm the owner of Nassau's Kitchen. Okay. After high school, I uh, went to the University of Boya. I basically accounted. I actually like accounting. Not for a bit. I'm not good in numbers. So, as any African who, I believe a lot of us have gone through that. Our parents have always want us to do stuff because they know, oh, you're going to be a doctor tomorrow, an accountant, you're going to fetch a lot of money and all that. You know, yeah. So, first year of school and second year, I remember vividly my sister calling me and she was like, are you sure this is what you want to become? I said no. I said I know you very well. From a very tender age, you always loved to cook. I was always in the kitchen. I had a very perfect taste, but you know, my sister always calls on me, okay, come at this, my be not correct, if so not correct and everything. Yes, I was always there. I started cooking when I was like class five, nine to ten years. I was already in the kitchen trying to do stuff. Yeah, so I decided to pursue my, I actually welcome to my parents and told them that, see, you guys are spending a lot of money because ACCA, for those who know, is very costly. Yeah, yeah you're spending a lot of money. Why? I can actually go and do what I, actually, I love and spend less. And tomorrow, I might be a professional, have a good job, have, have my own restaurant, I defend for myself. And at that level, they say, okay, that's good. If that's what you want, look for a good school and we're going to so, so I came to Duala last year and then I don't have to my age. <laughs> 2010, I got into a very good culinary school. I did two years, did my stash, came out. I was very lucky on, on after my graduation, I was recommended by someone to work in one of the best restaurants around in Bonapriso. White phone restaurant. So I tried to work there for like three months, the pressure, and I left because of some personal reasons. Went back to Boya, worked with some amazing restaurants. And actually, my profession has opened me to a lot of things. I met a lot of people in and out of the country. I've been <coughs> opportunity to work with one of the best chefs in the world, yeah, and the best in Africa. Jemel Malonga, I don't know if you ever follow him on Instagram or Facebook. He, he's he's, he's uh, a Michelin chef. That's how you bring chefs. So, Jemel Malonga. Yeah, he's, he's now he's based in, in Rwanda. So, uh, I've had opportunities to go to different countries, uh, meet amazing people, go to different African countries, uh, like discover the food culture. And it, just like you said, Cameroon is. Amazing. I don't think there's any other country compared to Cameroon when it comes to food. No. We have we have a plethora of spices and recipes that we have not even discovered. Majority of us have not discovered those recipes. We go up north, northwest, we have all types. We know how to play with ingredients. We know how to play with food. I went to, I visited Rwanda, and Rwanda actually is a very rich country, food-wise. But they have just like, a stereotype way of cooking. 
Such experiences, I've had a lot of them. I, I, I always love to go to restaurants and discover new stuff. So I always work around. Uh,